In this Quick Tips tutorial, we're going to answer a common question. How can I randomize items so that adjacent segments and material IDs are not repeated? It is the nature of true random number generators that they will on occasion output a sequence with repeating values. This can be undesirable when it results in repeating material IDs or geometry. Unfortunately, neither Railclaim's built-in random node nor its expressions features have an option to output a non-repeating sequence, but there is a nifty cheat we can use to create a similar effect. To illustrate this, we'll create a playmat style that features 10 numbered segments. Each segment uses two material IDs. ID 1 is used for the colour of the tile, and ID 2 is used for the number. There's a multi-sub-object material applied to these segments, which have 10 colour variations. So, if we distribute these segments along a single spline, using an L1S generator, and via a randomised operator, you'll see that occasionally adjacent segments are the same. To fix this, we divide the number of segments in half. So in this example, we'll have two groups of five segments each. Each one of these two groups are randomized alternately to avoid repetition. So to do this, you create two randomized operators, wire half of the segments to the first randomized operator, wire the remaining segments to the second randomized operator, then create a new sequence operator. We can use this to alternate between the two randomized operators. Then wire the randomized operators to the sequence operator's inputs. And finally, wire the sequence operator to the generator. You now have no repetition because odd items are randomizing between segments one to five and even items are randomizing between segments six to 10. Repetition on adjacent segments is therefore impossible. This works great for 1D arrays, but what about 2D arrays? If we wire the same setup to an A2S generator, you'll see that there's no repetition horizontally along each row, but an awful lot of repetition vertically in columns. Fortunately, this too is quite easy to fix. Remember, odd items use segments 1 to 5, and even items use segments 6 to 10. If we switch the items being used in odd and even segments on alternate rows, we'll create a grid of randomized segments that doesn't repeat horizontally or vertically. This table makes it clearer. On the bottom row, in the first segment, we're randomizing between 1 and 5. The second segment on the bottom row, 6 to 10. The third 1 to 5, the fourth 6 to 10, and so on. If we go up a row to the second row, now the first segment, is randomizing between items 6 to 10, the second one 1 to 5, the third one 6 to 10, and the fourth one 1 to 5. So they're alternating in both directions. To create this setup, you would duplicate the existing sequence operator. Then switch the order of the inputs in the new sequence operator by clicking on the small black arrows next to the input label. Now create a third sequence operator and wire the two existing sequence operators to its inputs. Finally, change the third sequence operator's increment at axis to Y to create the pattern vertically. You will no longer see any repetition between adjacent horizontal and vertical segments. Exactly the same technique can be used to randomize non-repeating material IDs. To make this a little easier, recent versions of RailClone include a macro to do all the hard work for you. To use this macro, switch to the Macros tab and drag a pseudo randomized IDs 2D into the graph. Wire it between the final sequence operator and the generator. Go to the Properties panel and in the Material ID property, you would normally enter the ID you wish to randomize. In this case, we'll leave it at 1 to randomize the color of the tile itself. You use the From and To properties to set the range. In this example, the range is 1 to 10. Now you'll have non-repeating randomized colors on the tiles. You can do the same thing to randomize the color of the numbers. Just add another macro but this time use a value of 2 for the material ID property. In the scene files that accompany this tutorial, there's a macro called non-repeat random int. This will also be included in our next update to the built-in macros.
It works using exactly the same principles as the example shown above, except it outputs non-repeating integers based on a segment's position in the 2D grid. This means you can use it with anything that's controlled using an index. For example, to randomize non-repeating geometry using this macro instead of using random and sequence operators as we just saw, we can simply do the following. Create a new selector operator and wire all of the segments to its inputs. Right click on the operator and export the index property. Attach the macro to the index input Leave the start value at 1, and then for the end value, enter the total number of segments, in this case 10. And that's it, the macro takes care of everything else for you. And although this is a bit of a hack, it's quite effective for preventing the repetition of the same geometry, materials and more on adjacent segments. In this tutorial, we also explored a couple of recent macros. In future releases, we'll look in more depth at several other macros that can be used to speed up and simplify your work, in addition to extending the plugin's core features. <laughs> <laughs>